Um, uh, as far as a uh, rivalry, um, I'm sure everyone's talking about um, you know us and and the Giants. You know from what happened you know last season and uh, in the postseason, uh, they beat us. Uh, I don't really look at it as a rivalry. Uh, we lost the game. Uh, it wasn't our time. They beat us, and uh, that was it. Pretty much, uh, we lost the game. Uh, I'm sure my teammates, as well as myself, uh, there's a little bit of um, there's a there's a there's a bitter taste in our mouth, you know, because that game uh, it hurt. You know, we lost that game, and you know, we're still thinking about it a little bit, but we can't jump out of, out of our skin. We have to uh, uh, continue to stay focused. It's very important for the offense to carry the team this week, because, uh, like you said, uh, last last year um, the defense pretty much stepped up and and we didn't do uh, what we were supposed to do, you know, on the offensive side of the ball. So it's important that we go out there, we attack them fast, and and we just take care of our responsibilities. Um, and I think we owe it to the defense. We owe it to them uh, because they did save us. They saved us a lot last year, so. We owe it to him in this game. Do you realize the offense is no longer the you know, sort of along for the ride? It's you know, something you might have thought of last year. Such a, you know, last year, it seemed like it was a lot of defense, a lot of special teams. You did you feel like the offense is really close to the gap. You know, like your own defense. Yeah, I think, we, um, I think this year you're, we're a lot better than last year. Uh, of course, we brought in um, some weapons, and Randy Moss, Manningham, Brandon Jacobs, and, and a lot of the young guys, you know, they, they've evolved into some uh, – some awesome players. So um, we, have, uh, we have something to work with this year, uh, a lot more than last year. So uh, I keep my faith and belief in the offense. You know, uh, you know, I think it's up to us. We're going to leave it up to ourselves to, to, you know, to, to figure it out and, and uh, pull through and uh, make it up to the defense, pretty much. Uh, Jim Carver just said that the offense even out did what maybe he was expecting. Um, to me, everyone always asks the question, um, um, you know, what, what do you think about Alex? Um, to me, I've, you know, I've always thought that Alex was a, was a warrior. You know, uh, when we first got here, I would always look into Alex's eyes and, you know, I would see a, a guy that wanted, wanted to be successful. He was determined. And I believed in him. And um, to me, I mean, he's, he's just doing, being, doing a terrific job as far as uh, leading this team, uh, being a leader and stepping up and doing what's, doing what's right for the team. Um, uh, and he wants to be successful. He's doing everything that Coach Harbaugh is, is asking him to do and more. Uh, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And, and I, I wish him continued success. And I'm sure he's going to continue to help lead this team. No, it didn't surprise me. Um, he's capable. He's capable of doing it. Um, we just, it, it just all have to be, have to be done together. Um, no one can do uh, anything out there by themselves. You know, we have to do it collectively as a team, and that's what it takes. So if everyone is in the right spot, you know, Crabtree, Randy, myself, if we're in the right spot, you know, where we're supposed to be, um, then Alex will deliver the ball, and we'll make it happen together. Uh, there's a lot of things that's different uh, with Alex. Uh, one, Harbaugh coming in and bringing his staff, uh, the offense coordinator, Greg Roman, who's, um, I mean, he's one of the best, one of the best I've ever been around. Um, he just called it. I mean, he called the, called the plays, and, I mean, he's calling the right plays, and, and it's working for us. Uh, another thing is that um, Alex, uh, his confidence, his confidence, confidence level is, um, is rising. Um, he's very confident in himself, uh, and he believes in what we, you know, what we want to do here, you know, as a team and where we're trying to go. So um, I take my hat off to Alex, and you know, those are just some of the things that, that you know, that are going on. 
uh, with Alex. Brandon, the, the offense clicks so well. I guess New Orleans and the divisional game. What didn't happen in the championship game? What, what went wrong offensively? Um, I mean, the plays, I mean, we just uh, uh, just miscommunication, um, missed opportunities, and uh, it just didn't happen in our favor. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, we, we, I mean, it, I mean, it's done. I mean, there's nothing we can really do to go back in time and, and change it. You know, um, we wanted that game bad. You know, we wanted it, I mean, more than anything in the world. I mean, we're right there. I mean, when you get that close, I mean, you have to put everything on the line. And I, and to me, I think, I thought we put everything on the line. Um, everyone came to play. Uh, everyone was fired up. Uh, the momentum was on our side, and then we, you know, we started to lose it. Um, they outplayed us. Uh, uh, we made some mistakes and pretty much cost us the game. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, you, you made a good point. Um, uh, for one, this team is, uh, I don't think, you know, since I've been here, we've, we've never really had a selfish guy, you know, besides myself. You know, uh, at one point, you know, I was selfish, uh, and I admit it, I was. Uh, that's because I was young, and I didn't know. I was trying to find myself. And uh, just trying to figure it out. You know, I looked up to guys like Terrell Owens and, you know, other guys in the league. And, and I thought that, you know, this is what it was about. But it wasn't. So I had to uh, change some things. And when I changed, uh, everything started to work out. You know, uh, uh, everyone started to respect me, uh, the coaches, the players. And, you know, I started to put it all together. And since I put it together, you know, when, as I started to look around, there were more guys like myself. Um, everyone was all about the team. And it's still that way. You know, everyone's about the team. Uh, Randy's not worried about how many catches he get. I'm not worried about how many catches I get. As long as we win, uh, I'm having a good day. Because that's what it's about. It's about winning. It's about getting to the playoffs and, and trying to advance to the next level after that. And we all know what that is. Uh, he didn't, but I can see it in him. I sit right beside him. Uh, I see it in him. I see it in him when he's not when he's not getting balls. Uh, just Michael, uh, Frank, all all of all the all those guys, uh, and, and and that's what make this team unique. You 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 know you you come closer to guys when when you know that they're about the team and they're not about themselves. And you know we just want to win games. Is that an NFC championship game? Do you think that sparked uh, the front office to go and? I think it did. I think they were probably um, thinking that we needed more, uh, more help on the receiver end, uh, uh, and we did that. We did that. We brought in Randy and we brought in Manningham, and right now I feel like, you know, we're we're up there. We're up there with the best. You know, as as far as uh, on the offense side of the ball, and. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a blessing to have those guys come in because I feel like they can make a difference on this team, uh, not just them, uh, the younger guys, Kendall and, you know, uh, uh, LaMichael James and, you know, guys that are coming along. So um, I'm excited about what we're going to do uh, for, uh, throughout the rest of the season as well as the future.